So the uh, snow is coming down out here in the heart of the Wales. As you can see, uh, the cattle are out on this bit of field. We brought them on down a bit. Still on a bit of a hill here. And uh, the important thing this time of year is making sure they've all got plenty of feed and that they're looked after in this weather. It's not uh, cold and dry in this part of the world. It's cold and wet. And uh, I'm certainly appreciating my new coat uh, myself. These animals got a good coat on their back. They're not a problem. They don't like the rain too much if it's too much of it, but they're okay in this weather, no problem at all. And the important thing is to make sure that in that ring feeder behind me, they've got plenty of uh, haylage or silage or whatever it is you're feeding at the time to keep them happy and content and uh, able to make milk for their little calves that are playing out there in the snow. And as you can see, they're kind of keen because what's happened overnight, in cold conditions, they got into the haylage and they've eaten it right down. And uh, I'm going to have to get a, go and get a bale now on the tractor and pull that in for them. Morning. The importance for them of this feed is that it gets in their tummies and it ferments in their rumen. And that's what keeps cattle warm in weather conditions like this. It's having that stuff down inside them, well fed, but warming them as it's nourishing them from the inside out. Now we don't just give these animals uh, haylage or silage or whatever, we give them uh, a block of uh, minerals and uh, molasses and sugary stuff that uh, sweetens them up and gives them a little bit of a, a pleasure to their, their sweet tooth and encourages their little hearts as well. And uh, that's also important in this sort of weather. It's the weather conditions being hard, it's when times are hard like this that it's really important to give them a proper feeding warm them up from the inside out and give them those extra little pleasures to encourage them and warm their hearts so that they are, uh, they're fit and well and can look after themselves in this weather. Same principle applies for the uh, little ones amongst us. You'll see here on this cow, the other side of it, she's got a calf. And that little fella, he's only little, he's only a week or two old, but you can see that he's keeping himself warm by getting the milk, a nice lovely warm milk, look at that, sucking away enthusiastically on his mother. And again, a harsh condition is important to feed properly and he's feeding well, warming himself up again with his mummy's milk from the inside out. So here's the farmhand putting in his licky bucket for these cattle now so they have got sugar to go on their Weetabix as it were. And his favourite cow has come to him for a bit of sympathy and a bit of love in the cold weather. And uh, they're getting to be happy cows. We'll nip off now and get them a bale of silage and that'll make them happy in spite of the fact the snow's pretty steady and coming down hard now. So back in the warm inside and looking out over this bit of a winter wonderland really, to use a bit of a cliche, the importance of feed in cold weather is really uppermost and certainly in times of difficulty for us, in times of hardship and bleakness in our own lives, Feeding the inner man, and I'm not just thinking sausage and chips here, is incredibly important too. The Bible teaches us the importance of not giving up meeting together, as some people are apparently in the habit of doing, and feeding our souls with the means of God's grace. Fellowship, prayer, exposing our hearts and our minds to God's word. And then think of that calf out there in the field warming up on mother's milk. Scripture teaches us to desire the pure milk of the word so that we may grow by it. And then Jeremiah speaks about having fed himself so much and so well in the presence of God that God's word had become like a fire in his bones that he had to pass on to the coldness of the environment around him. Now when things are tough for us, when the environment is difficult and times are hard, that can be the most difficult time to actually concentrate our minds to the extent that we, we get to God and we get to his word and we feed ourselves and, and get that inner warmth, get that inner nourishment, that thing that we so much need when times are so difficult. Well, if you're having a time like that, let us know. Contact us by the means that we show you at the end of this little video. Um, it's really a matter of contacting us through the website, www.urgroup.com. Dot com, ygrwp com, and we will certainly pray for you. But in the interim, can I just urge you to open God's Word, go to uh, the, the experience songbook of uh, the Psalms in the middle of the Bible, uh, go into the New Testament letters and see how Paul encourages and builds people up and, and helps people to be warmed, changed, uh, 
fed from the inside out. And remember those cattle and the importance for them in stormy times, in difficult times, in times of dearth, in times of hardship. Feeding them from the inside out that they might be nourished, grow and be warm on cold days. God bless you from a snowy Wales. <laughs>